everyone welcome to the video with me Sunny but in this video I'm gonna show you ten things I wish I'd known when I started Star Stable. So Star Stable is a great game but when I first started I really did not know what to do. So I'm here to help you guys if you guys have the game and are just starting out. So number one you cannot ride other people's horses so star stable will not let you ride other people's horses because they people pay you for the star coins out of their own money and if you could ride other people's horses you could have them stolen so that is why star stable does not let you ride other people's horses so there's no point even trying even though when you go to someone's horses and hover over their horse when they're dismounted you can see the saddle sign and if you click it nothing happens so you cannot ride other people's horses number two don't rush through all your quests because new ones aren't released very often star stable is working super hard at the moment to upgrade our quests and the map and they don't really release quests so if you're not a star rider don't rush through all your quests at once because new ones aren't released very often and if you're a star rider the same goes to be honest you'll have a lot of quests when you start if you're a star rider and it will seem like they'll just go on forever but they don't so don't rush through them unless it's a spider quest where you're hunting for spiders that one took a while um but don't don't rush through all your quests because new ones aren't released very often and with star stable working so hard on a new map it's super hard to get new quests. Three, if an event comes up that you can get to with or without being a star rider, go to it. Definitely go to it because they only the events don't come out for ever. They do come out every year, but they don't stay forever. So definitely go do it because you can get some really cool items from just going around and doing the winter wishes and stuff. It's super cool. Like the Brinnacle, I got that from the Winter Village. Sure, I paid star coins for him, but it was definitely worth it. But seriously, go to the events, because you can get some really, really cool stuff from there. Number four. If you buy star coins, buy a horse. Seriously, if you buy star coins, buy a horse, because then you have way more options to choose from in your stable. And... There is just so much nicer, and some horses have special abilities, so definitely go by the by the horses. You can buy pets as well. The pets are pretty cool. But one thing I did is I brought a pet that didn't move, and it was good, sure. But if you have enough star coins, buy a horse or buy a running pet because running pets are so cool, and this penguin is just super cute. Number five, trade your horse after you finished all your quests. The reason why I say this is because once you've done all your quests, if you're not a star rider, you get so bored and you have nothing to do. So you need to go and train your horse because training your horse is one of the best things you can do. It takes a lot of time, but it's so worth it when you finish because that, your horse is so much faster. And it's just so much nicer as well. So definitely train your horse once you've done all your quests and not before because then you'll run out of things to do once you've done all your quests. Number six, if quests are only there for a limited time, do them because they won't stay around forever. This kind of links to the places thing, but don't go and if you think quests are only going to be there for a limited time or you know they're going to be there for a limited time, go and do them because... They don't stay around forever and you can end up missing your chances on getting some XP. Which is really hard to get if you're a non-star rider once you've done all your quests. So definitely go do that. And also just make sure that you've done the quest before the time actually runs out. Oh, <laughs> go and do all the quests before the time runs out and the quests are gone forever because... They don't stick around, so I would suggest doing them as soon as it comes out, if you can get to them, because it's so much easier. Number seven, if you're bored, hunt for all the stars. Stars are a great thing in this game. While you don't get anything from getting all of the stars at the end, if you get all the stars in your area, you 
just get the satisfaction of knowing that you have literally got all of the stars in your area. But once you're a star rider, you can get all of the stars everywhere. And at the end, it's so satisfying to know that you have completed all of the stars and you do not have to anymore. Number eight, if you're, your horse will be fine if you don't do it, stay like care. When I first started Star Stable, one of the biggest things that I did that I didn't realize is that I spent my Yorvik shillings on food for my horse, which is in a way a weird idea because sure it's spending money for your horse, but your horse won't actually die if you don't do it daily care. I haven't done Blue Diamond's daily care for ages, and you can see he's really sad. But he actually, the only thing that happens if you don't do their daily care is you, they get a little bit slower. Which is why I'm having such a hard time trying to beat um, Zin with this race. Um, just because he's so slow and he's a very untrained horse. But if I had a level 15 and they were sad, then they would still be easy. But it's only because he's untrained and he's a little bit sad. But it definitely helps if you have a happy horse to do some of the races where you need to beat your opponent. Because some of the quests I found really hard even with a happy horse. So definitely go and... You'll be okay if you don't train them. It is worth it if you know you have a quest coming up that needs a happy horse for if it's trying to race against someone. Um, but your horse won't suffer any ill effects from it. So you can go and buy a new tack for your horse and your horse will still be okay. Number nine, look for the redeem codes. Redeem codes are one of the best things in Star Stable. If you go to your browser and search out redeem codes the month and then the year, um, Star Stable, you will usually find a few redeem codes that you usually haven't redeemed. Um, and the redeem codes are definitely worth it because it's a lot like the fact that you can get a lot of free stuff from it so you can get food for your horse you can get some cool tack items you can sometimes even get pets and the biggest thing you can get is star coins you can definitely get a lot of the stuff um from redeem codes so definitely go look out that and last one on these number 10 the races are daily but you can redo them with a high scoreboard i used to think that you could only do the races once a day um because it's daily but actually you can redo them as many times as you want with the high scoreboard but the only difference is you won't actually get any xp or anything from a high scoreboard if you do that race so definitely go and do the actual race first before you go to the high scoreboard if you want to level up your horse but if you're really bored and you're looking for something to do definitely go and use the high scoreboard and do races and you can get such a fast time and it's really cool i used to literally think that it was only one a day as i said which was really really annoying um because then i would finish all my races i would not i would be saving all my quests and it'd be just like well what do i do now and in the end it was just like well i kind of can't do anything then i discovered the high scoreboard and i could do the races as many times as i won anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this 10 tips for with that i wish i'd known when i started star stable and i'll see you in the next one goodbye